Hey guys, Danny Brown here. I just wanted to update you on how the first part of the year is going. Uh, we're already two thirds of the way through the first quarter and things are going well. So let's talk New Year's resolutions. I kept uh, and made some for, for me personally and I've been pretty good with them actually. I wanted to take up and learn meditating. Um, I, you know, I follow Tim Ferriss, he has a really big podcast and all the high performers that he interviews, they all practice meditation and I used to just kind of ignore it and think, ugh, meditation, I don't want to do that. And I decided that I'm not above it. If all high performers meditate, then I should give it a shot. And so I've been working through it uh, this year and uh, every weekday morning uh, as part of my routine, I've been meditating for 10 minutes and it's very weird. I use the Headspace app, if any of you have used it, um, to kind of get me through the process. Uh, out of the 10 minutes, I think I'm able to get maybe two minutes of actual clarity where I, you know, I'm at peace and can kind of not think about anything, but those two minutes are actually really cool and it keeps me coming back for more and wanting to get better at it. So if you haven't tried meditation, I absolutely recommend it. it uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, those moments of clarity are, are actually really nice. Um, in addition to that, I signed up and I've been working with uh, a personal trainer. Most of you know that health and fitness is a big part of my life and I've gotten into CrossFit the last couple of years and I've got some really big weaknesses in that area. So I've been working with someone kind of one-on-one -on -one to get better in those uh, specific weaknesses and I am starting to see some small gains in that area. So that's been pretty exciting as well. So I made a commitment to myself to start reading 30 minutes a day. And so far I've finished three books. I've gotten through Ray Dalio's Principles. Uh, I read Ready Player One. Um, which was a fantastic book and I'm actually really excited about the movie now. And I just finished Terry Crews's book and I'm almost through Tim Ferriss's uh, Tribe of Mentors, which is like that thick uh, and I'm about halfway through it. Um, so I'm getting there and been able to stick to that commitment. Um, on the business side of things though, we are uh, not really hitting the goals that we set for ourselves so far. Uh, we are definitely in a hole. Um, we have not helped as many families as I would have liked to at this point in the year. Uh, so that's really going to put us under the gun to um, you know, really have to work extra hard this spring, summer and fall to get caught up. So uh, with the team that we have in place, I have really high hopes for us. Uh, and think we can do it, but we're just gonna need to buckle down. We've actually also gone through some growing pains, not, not so great stuff. So we had to let someone go, uh, unfortunately, but uh, I think the team is going to be better for it. Um, because of that, we've actually been able to bring on a couple of new people as well who have been amazing additions. With uh, the loss of one, two new ones join, so we're, we're excited for the growth um, and for the opportunity to have them be a part of our team. For Christmas, uh, as you may have heard, I got a 23andMe kit uh, for the holidays, so I got the results of that back. And I learned that I am 54% English and Irish and 46% French and German, which makes me 100% boring. If you haven't done it or you have the opportunity, I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, it, was, it was cool to see. So as most of you know, I am getting married at the end of April. So my buddies took me out for my bachelor party this last month and we had an awesome time. We went to Winter Park, Colorado and we went skiing and snowboarding. We checked out the Coors Brewery uh, and toured that and we also went snowmobiling. So uh, the snowmobiling was incredible. I have never gone before and it was almost like riding a jet ski but on snow. And we had a guide, he took us up to the Continental Divide, uh, pretty much in a blizzard. Uh, and it was hard to see anything, it was freezing cold, uh, but we all just had the best time riding on these trails in the back country. Uh, we got our snowmobiles up to about 45 miles an hour, which doesn't sound fast, but it was, it was plenty fast. Uh, and I would say on average, we kept it around 30 miles per hour and we just all had a really good time. It was exactly what I wanted my bachelor party to be. As we get closer to my wedding, uh, people keep asking me if we're stressed or if we have a lot left to do. I have to be honest that I have really done zero. Alyssa has been doing all of it, so I can't wait to see what she's come up with. Uh, she's been doing all the planning. I've been doing very little. 
Uh, we are doing a destination wedding in Cancun, so most of the planning is done for you, so you just pick a package. She's been busy working on all the finer details and getting that all set up, and we're actually really excited to be with our friends. It's gonna be very small and kind of an intimate setting, and we're just looking forward to hanging out, having fun, and after 11 years of being together, actually getting married. Uh, but it'll be nice to have people stop asking us, so when you get married? On a less pleasant note, I'm still being audited by the IRS. Uh, they have come out to my office basically every month this year, uh, and it's really odd. They cannot work on my file at all unless they're in my office. So they come here one day per month, the IRS agent, uh, my CPA also shows up, and they sit in our conference room from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m., and they go through all of my finances and the IRS is super invasive. They want to look at everything. Uh, they want receipts for everything, which I don't have. Uh, they want to source all of our closings. I'm having to contact our brokerage and get copies of settlement statements and closing packages. And it's just this total nightmare. So if you can avoid being audited, I definitely recommend not going through the process. The gentleman that is auditing me is very pleasant and nice though, so I guess it could be worse. And my CPA has just been a lifesaver uh, for some of these things and really taking a lot of it off of my plate and putting it on his uh, so that I'm able to continue to work and help people and do what I enjoy. Um, but it's, I, I can't wait for it to be over. They're expecting to have one more appointment this month towards the end of the month and then it could take up to a year for them to evaluate all of my stuff and then tell me how much more I owe them because I'm definitely not escaping this without writing the IRS a check. Uh, I've just come to terms with that. And finally, we had an amazing client appreciation party at the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix. And if you've never been, it is an amazing museum from what I've been told. I still haven't had the opportunity to see it. Uh, and the reason for that is because our event was there and we had over 65 people come to our uh, client appreciation party. So I did not have the opportunity to tour the museum because I was too busy chatting and talking with all of you, which is the whole point and why I was there. So if you were able to come, hopefully you were able to uh, enjoy the food and drinks and of course the sprinkles cupcakes and got to tour the museum. Um, all the feedback's been really positive. Everybody really enjoyed uh, checking it out. So we will be doing our next client appreciation party probably kind of in the summertime. Uh, so be on the lookouts for that. And you know, we just, we appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of you. I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be in this office, I wouldn't be doing what I love if it wasn't for you know, your referrals, uh, your assistance, your friendship, um, some of your guidance, you know, our, our vendors are amazing. I just, I'm so grateful to all of you and appreciate what you do for us. So that's the first part of my year in a nutshell. I will see you guys next month and kind of give you an update on uh, how March is looking. Hope you have a good one.